now from South Seminole Academy in Castleberry, Florida. Direct from the third floor of building number three, this is South Seminole News. What? <laughs> Good afternoon, and thank you guys for joining us today. Um, I am here with Dean Fernandez to my right, and I have here the eighth grade boys, uh, members of the eighth grade boys track team for the 2019-2020 seasons, the South Seminole Hurricanes here. And they are here because of their performance this past Saturday at the county meet. They brought home the first place trophy for the first time since I, Coach Payne, have been um, coaching. And um, before I continue, I will like to say that not with us, we have Coach Fogel that is not in attendance, as well as Coach Jackson. And we also had Coach Long um, coaching the shot put this year. So back to our eighth grade boys team. I'm here with them, and I am just wanting to know, how are you guys feeling after bringing home a first place trophy for the South Seminole Hurricanes? We're feeling pretty good. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it, was, it was pretty hard to like, we all worked really hard to be able to do this and stuff, but no, it was fun though, so yeah. And that was Alex <laughs> Contreras. And Alex, you you don't have your medal on at this time, but you yeah. did actually medal in an event. Can you tell us what that event was? So um, I did shot put. I got 36.10 inches. And I got second out of 21 people. So yeah, I put some work into that. First time we've had a medal in the shot put in boys in I don't know how many years. So Alex, you're part of history. That's very true, and, and Contreras was a walk-on. He did not do the shot put in the sixth or seventh grade year, so he was very new to that event. So he did, he did do the work. That's also in a tribute to Coach Long as well because she is our shot put specialist. Um, what about Sereno? Mr. Sereno, you have been running track since your sixth grade year, so you are a veteran, probably the veteran of the team. I think you have been running the longest. So what was your experience like to go out with a bang first place? Um, I mean, that was it was great. Um, so we prog I see the progression over the years. We didn't have as many people on the track team six and seven. So it was great that we had like, an actual good and strong team and to go out with first. Um, it was an honor, you know. All right, thank you for that. Um, we also have some other newcomers that are on the team that only ran in the eighth grade, um, in their eighth grade year. We have um, Mr. Marco Gonzalez here. Marco, what was your experience like? Well, first of all, it was like my first year, and it was like really fun. I really enjoyed it. And I'm thinking about doing it in high school because I really liked it. And the coaches were awesome, nice. I'm just like very comfortable to be with. So it wasn't like I felt pressured to do anything. I just kind of went with them and like trusted them. So it was nice. That's it. Okay. Thank you for that. We also had um, Riley Turner. Riley Turner was a first year, a first year runner. Riley. Um. Well, I don't have. I mean. I ran multiple sports before, so I mean, I'm used to running, but I mean, it was a good experience. Uh, I, I finally learned what I can do stronger, and I'm more of a long distance than a fast runner. So, and it's good for other sports and endurance, so. And can you pass the mic over, or can we get Sebastian Magana on the mic as well? His first year on the track team. Um. <laughs> um, at first I was kind of hesitant to do it but once I started I felt comfortable like because I have friends there I'm, I have a strong relationship with the coaches um, and then yeah it was it went from there and I'm proud that we got first place the work really paid off awesome and then finally, we have um, with our last of the first timers, Jared Campbell. Um, I didn't expect myself to be running track, to be honest. My goal was really basketball, but I tried track and I really enjoyed it because my teammates and everybody on the track team, they made me comfortable. And I never really would have expected us coming in first. 
And I think I performed really well along with my eighth grade team. I guess another member, uh, Mr. Scrunchy himself, Tyler Cavelli. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is my second year on the track team. Um, last year, I got ribbons, but this year was my first year getting a medal. I got two medals, actually. Yeah. And uh, I don't know, it was a lot of fun. These boys are fun to hang out with. They just make you feel good about yourself. <laughs> Jaden Baker. Um, my name is Jaden. This is my second year running track. Like Tyler said, this is my first year getting a medal. It was a lot of fun working with you guys. I hope to see some of you guys in high school. I'll definitely be running track again. It's a lot of fun. The coaches were great, and we do what we had to do out there. And last but not least, the shy one, so not shy, Mr. Mm -hmm. Julian Vasquez in the corner. It was a really good experience, especially because, like, last year I was going to run track, and then I, like, pulled my quad, so I couldn't, I wasn't able to run in the county meet. So then this year I wasn't really going to do it, but then my friends told me to, and it was, like, it was good because it was, like, our whole friend group just joined the track team, and, like, we were all comfortable with each other, and, like, first place and with that first place just so you guys know we're going to be getting an eighth grade boys track championship banner with all your names on it as county Ooh. champions and it's going to be going up in the gymnasium uh as to immortalize your championship season so it's going to be up there for every class that comes in after you guys and they're going to see you up there as champions I believe it's the first time we've had a team championship since you've been your coach. Yes, it so you, you're many firsts. So they'll be up there for all time. So you guys come back when you're in high school, you're going to see it up there. And all the kids are going to be coming up are going to see your names up there. So congratulations. It's a big honor. Thank you. I believe to that effect, Mr. Serino had a question about that banner. What was your question before Dean Fernandez came well, when in? Did, when will it be up for the, the yeah, banner? When are we going to get it? As soon, I've already put it in, so I'm waiting for the artwork to come back and the banner that's being designed with our new logo. Once we get that back, Coach Payne's going to make sure it's approve it as far as the spellings and everything like that. Cavelli's with two C's, right? Okay. So <laughs> we're going to, so once it gets approved, then it's going to Dr. Colin Baker for final approval. Once that happens, we'll go ahead and get it. It definitely will be up before the end of the year. I guarantee you that. All right, gentlemen, any final words? This is, all right, so for a second, now that I knew that I was on the basketball team too, um, I wanted to quit track, to be honest. And then Coach Downey and Coach Payne ended up telling me, like, you made this commitment, so now you got to stick with it. So I ended up sticking with it, and then basically – good came out of that because I got second place in shot put and I was doubting myself at that moment so I was like pretty good but yeah so if you're thinking about quitting track don't it's fun trust me well thank you for those last words Mr. Contreras and on behalf of the coaches um, we truly truly enjoyed coaching all of you you are a fine team and as many of you said the fact that you were friends made it a lot easier for you to work together and be cohesive cohesive as a team and also to be determined because there was a lot of determination that I saw on Saturday at the county meet. You guys overcame injuries. You overcame um, people that had to leave. They had other things that they needed to do, and you just jumped right in. Some of you weren't even prepared for the event that you were asked to compete in. So that means a lot, and I hope that this – in our trophy case and a banner in the gym will forever remind you guys of the talent that you have and the abilities that you have and the determination that you have inside of you because coaches cannot coach determination. That's within all of you. So thank you, thank you, thank you all. And just remember, there may be other championship track teams that come through, but there can only be one first. Yeah. And you're it, yeah, that's true. and Basically, you're it. Just there could be champions in the future, but you'll always be the first. Number one, just like that. Number one. So the eighth grade boys team, you are presenting your trophy. I guess. Ah, so we now. Let's go. That's right, first place. I'm sure that's not the. You guys want to like move real quick? 
Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> like, Mike got that. Mike got that. Hold this. Hold this. Get on your knees. Mike. Love you guys. Right now. Go try. All right, so. Yeah. Seminal track signing off. I believe in yourself. We're signing off. Yeah. Love you guys. We, pre we, we present you. We, pre we present you <laughs> with this <laughs> trophy, <laughs> and I hope you like it. Oh, Wherever you're gonna put it. Come here, boys. Get in here. Just like that. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Go. Go. Hey, King John three. King John three. One, two, three. Hey. There you go. Hi, welcome to the South Seminole Lounge. I'm Chloe. And I'm Destiny. Today our topic is Women's History Month. In 1987, the National Women's History Project helped lead a campaign to launch Women's History Month, a time designated for recognizing accomplishments made by women throughout history. We are going to tell facts in honor of this month-long celebration. Today, 71% of moms with kids under 18 work. In 1975, fewer than 47% did. In 2016, women secured more mayoral, mayoral election wins in 18.9% of U.S. cities, with more than 30,000 residents, according to data from Catalyst.org. The representative colors for Women's History Month are purple, green, and white. As of 2015, women in the U.S. owned more than 9.4 million firms, ger generating 1.5 trillion sales, according to the National Association of Women Business Owners. Over 60% of college degrees awarded in the U.S. every year are earned by women. Today, women make up 15% of active military personnel. While the field is still dominated by males, this percentage is a small boost from the reported 11% enlisted in 1990. More American women work in the education, health services, and social assistance industries than any other. And that's, that's all from the South Center Lounge. See you next week. Hand washing is one of the most important ways you can keep from getting sick and spreading germs to others. Dirty hands spread disease. This hand washing demonstration will show you how hand washing can get rid of germs and chemicals that get on our hands every day. This gel is like the germs and chemicals that we get from things we touch throughout the day, like our toys and pets. If we then rub our eyes, nose, or mouth or pick up something to eat, the germs or chemicals can get into our bodies and make us sick. Studies have shown that people touch their eyes, nose, and mouth about 25 times every hour without even realizing it. To get rid of these germs and chemicals, CDC recommends you follow these easy steps every time you wash your hands. Wet, lather, scrub, rinse, and dry. We're going to show you the right way to do each step. First, 
Wet your hands with clean running water. Turn off the tap and apply soap. Then, lather your hands by rubbing them together with the soap. Be sure to lather the backs of your hands between your fingers and under your nails. Scrub your hands for at least 20 seconds. If you don't have a clock nearby, keep scrubbing until you've sung the happy birthday song twice. Rinse your hands well under clean running water. Dry your hands using a clean towel, electric hand dryer, or air dry them. Washing your hands using the steps we just demonstrated is very important to get hands completely clean. Let's see how well we got rid of the germs and chemicals. Great, no more germs and chemicals. Why is this so important? Germs and chemicals from unwashed hands can get into our foods and drinks when they're being prepared or when we're eating or drinking them, which can make us sick. Also, germs and chemicals from unwashed hands can be transferred to other objects like cell phones, tabletops, or toys, and then transferred to other people's hands. That's why it's so important to wash your hands following these steps. Wet, lather, scrub, rinse, and dry so you can stay healthy and help keep those around you healthy. For more information, visit cdc.gov forward slash hand washing. Good afternoon guys, I'm Ava. And I'm Colin. And I'm Grace. Today we are going to be rating the best breakfast foods. In fifth place is eggs. I like eggs, but I don't like, but I don't like, but they're not the best. In fifth place is oatmeal because it's gross and it tastes like grits. In my fifth place is hash browns because they're good, but I like breakfast meats better. In fourth place is, French, is toast. I like toast. It's okay, but it's a little boring. In fourth place is eggs because I don't know, um, because they're slimy. <laughs> My fourth place is sausage because I like sausage, but I prefer bacon. In third place is waffles because they're really good, but they're not the best. In third place is waffles because they're sometimes hard. In my third place is eggs because I like meat better than them, but they're okay. In second place is bacon because it's good and I like the taste. In second place is pancakes because I love them with maple syrup. In second place is French toast because it's really sweet and good with syrup. In first place is French toast because it's so good and sweet with maple syrup. In first place is French toast because it's really sweet and delicious. In first place is bacon because it's delicious and salty and it tastes Delicious with almost anything. Thanks for watching. I'm Ava. And I'm Colin. Have a great weekend. And I'm Grace. See you next time. Bye. Bye. Hello, South Seminole Academy. Happy Friday. Hope you had a one hope you had a wonderful week and a good weekend. My name is Olivia and I'll be talking about a few different few different thi things. Let's start. Well, let's talk about the teacher of the month, Mr. Miles. C congratulations, Mr. Miles. He was the first teacher to get voted by students, other teachers, and parents. Stop by his room on the third floor and say congratulations to him. Second thing, I am going to I'm going to be talking about my uh, my favorite three songs. Let's start. Number 1, Lottery by K Camp. I like the song because it has a good meaning and makes a good dance with it. Roxanne by Arizona Zeros. I don't know how to say his name. This is a good song and also has a good meaning and has a good catchy tone. Champion by Carrie Underwood. I love this song and has a good meaning behind it. And the rap by Ludacris. Love that part of the song. And I practice every day and I was supposed to do the Black History Month program, but I don't think I got in. I'm Olivia. Happy Friday. See you next week. Bye.